We're going on an adventure because I feel like it. So we have to go and feed Chelsea's cats again. So that's fun. Maybe I'll include them in this video. And I want to try some red light therapy. So that'll be an adventure. And there's two thrift stores that I want to visit. And I may or may not make my way to Tractor Supply because I need a lot of animal feed and all of that. So let's go. Okay, we're not very friendly. Okay, good to know. Loki. Hi, sugar. Oh, you boys are so lonely. How's it going? Okay, have you thrown up anywhere? You better not. There's a little bit of a wait for the red light therapy. Apparently it's very popular and people are swearing by it and they line up at the door for it. So let me tell you a little bit of benefits while I wait because I'm next in queue. Uh, the benefits for wounds, injury, and pain speeds the healing of wounds and injuries to the body, speeds wound healing and non-healing wounds, improves and restores range of motion, reduces inflammation and pain, um, menstrual cramps apparently it reduces if you have gout it reduces pain from gout so that's interesting it creates a healthy glow it's smooth overall skin tone builds collagen reducing wrinkles including crow's feet and under eye wrinkles forehead wrinkles and laugh lines supposedly uh, speeds the healing of blemishes like acne uh, repairs sun damage reduces redness flushing broken capillaries, fade scars, and stretch marks, brings more moisture to your skin, and prevents hair loss and stimulates growth. That is really cool. There's anti-aging, cold sores, diabetic, all these different things that people go and do this red light therapy for. So I'm definitely interested and pretty excited about it. So we'll see how it goes. Crazy contraption. That was wild. I really don't know what to expect, but it it like the whole bed warms up and it's super duper warm and it's it's happy and you can keep your eyes open and it's not like you're enclosed in this like scary enclosed bed, like it's it's wide open and the red light just makes you happy and 10 minutes of it was plenty. I definitely was feeling warm at the end of that so I, I'm almost considering not wearing this fleece everywhere I go now because I'm a little warm from it but all in all I can see why people get memberships. I didn't get one but I could see why they do because we'll see how I feel in a couple of days but it was a wild experience.
Now we're at this and that. It's a thrift store that everything is literally a dollar. So it's a dangerous place, but let's go see what there is. Well, I wanted to film my experiences at these shops, but it was all frowned upon. I asked one of the cute little thrift shop and they basically were like, oh no, no, please, no, we shouldn't do that. And so I was like, no, that's fine. I won't, I won't record. But I asked first because I think that's important. And then I was like, okay, tractor supply. They had baby chicks there. Did you think I want to film that for you? I do. But it was a zoo. And I just was like, I just can't. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in trouble somehow for some reason. So anyway, the car's locked and loaded. Uh, spent all of our money on chicken feed but we're restocked completely and I also got Wendy's to take home for me and Kev. So we are on our way home. Naturally everybody got a special treat. So this one's kittens and we got Piper. A bone, excuse me, that is not ladylike. No, 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 no. No. Stay. Okay. Get it done. Mama brought you a snack. Hi. Do you want this? Do you want this? There you go. Well, I won't stand here and watch you, but. I got some really cool books, so. Living Out Loud Activities to Fuel a Creative Life. And it's really quite cool. Like, there's stickers in here and ways to get through hard times and words of encouragement and pockets and crafty thingies. I can't wait to like really dive into that one. I also got the Conquer Kit. A creative business planner for women entrepreneurs. This also looked right up my alley with fun fill-in spots and tests. And I got a wish book, a place to record wishes, dreams, thoughts, where the fleeting takes root. So I this is pretty much like just a super duper cool notebook. So it has like little tabs, romantical habitual all of these things but it's just like journal so you can fill in whatever you want whenever you want and I was like yeah I want that and then this book still the art of living it's selections from female photographers of Etsy so it's a bunch of like really beautiful Photography photos. I love it. Love it. My cactus is very interesting. Healthy, but growing away from one another. I mean, this is pretty limp. Maybe it's not healthy. And then I got lots of little propagation station here for the philodendron. Trying to some cuttings from my bonsai tree but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure these are dying prayer plant brought back to life you might remember when I took it in the shower she's looking mighty happy now my beautiful string of pearls and you can see that little tiny babies are growing so she seems pretty happy this is my donkey's tail burrow something or other anyway I put it it was a cutting given to me and I put it in here and I thought it would grow like succulents and it kind of does I mean you can kind of see here the little babies but I don't know I just hope it comes back I don't know what this plant is but it's very cute and waxy this is the succulents that I was talking about see all the little babies they're all growing. And we got nice rootage here for our crazy night cirrus 
plant. This is literally green scallions that I used, cut off to here, put in this pot, and now I have more green scallions. So there's that. Oops. Hiding up here is more philodendron. My lemon tree is very big and mostly doing okay. Uh, there's a few leaves that aren't sure. I just think it needs more humidity. So we're working on that. My spider plant has made babies hiding in there. I have no idea how to propagate this, but spider plant's doing pretty good. Two snake plants are doing really good. Yeah. And this guy I had to move because he was over here on the plant shelf, but I think he was getting burnt by too much light. So he's doing okay. He's got lots of new leaves, but these parts are a little suspect. This is just wild. I, I don't know how it's even standing up, but it is. My beautiful pink flowers. I always forget what the heck this thing's called, but look at it. I mean, it's just growing however it wants. And over here, we have cactus seed babies that I grew from seed. This guy is kind of furry. I don't know what he is. These guys are overgrown and happy. Aloe and whatnot. Another doggies. So this guy is kind of growing into this guy. These are, it's called a frizzle sizzle, right? So a frizzle sizzle is supposed to, well, it shows that, but it's supposed to like spiral. And uh, as you can see here, it is not spiraling. It is just growing long, longer, longest. More plant cuttings. The roots are really, you can't really tell with the camera, but you can see them. And over here, this is from our wedding. It is still going strong, and that's bonsai tree, which is also very happy. You gotta water all these guys today. This is that pink earth star, except it's uh, not pink. We'll talk about my babies in a minute from the seeds. This is my onion plant. No, it is not real onion. Yes, it looks like onions. Each one of these bulbs is a plant. And the only thing I don't love is its goal is to stretch wherever it wants, however it wants. It's kind of a mess. So there's that. Another night blooming Ceres. My wandering Jews, which I really, really, really need to repot. Because they're super duper long and they're poisonous, and if Twinkle ever chews on it, I will be mad. Christmas cactus. Uh, this is another like cutting section. We got cute, let's see, is this light messing? Oh, you can still see. Let's change it though, maybe you can see it brighter. Oh, helps if I change it. Okay. I love this guy. He's got little babies hiding in here. Everybody's pretty happy plant-wise. This guy is a little burnt on the edge. But those guys aren't. I love this plant. This is a very sharp plant. You don't want to get stuck by it. This guy does whatever he wants. And apparently now he's also learning how to grow up along with down. And up here. And that guy, his leaves are like black. They're so dark. So yeah, well, that's a plant tour. Look at her seeds. They need to be watered again. But we got beets for sure. And we've got some cherry tomatoes, some fennel, kale. These big things are radishes. These are broccoli stemmies. We got some iceberg lettuce, leaf lettuce, basil. 
Um, is there anything else that's popping up? Ooh, carrot! We got a few carrots! That's so exciting! Yay for veggie garden! a nice day. I'm glad I got out. I needed a little day trip. So that was really nice and I just got out of a hot bath. Now I'm going to do some reading and I thought I would just share a little snippet of a Mod Podge of my day and what happened and, and all of that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Make sure you follow and subscribe. Hit that notification button and a thumbs up really does help. Have a good one. Bye.